Hi, welcome to my channel, Perfect Women of God. Hi, welcome to my channel, I'm Perfect Women of God. I'm going to talk about some things I've learned. I'm doing my Bible study and my uh, learning from my Auntie Rita. Um, she's a teacher. She's a godly woman. Of course, not who's not perfect, of course, but we all are not perfect. We all sin and do bad things. So, um, you know, basically, um, God, you know, he is our friend. You know, we when we struggle, you know, we put our worries on him. You know, God can make us whole by us repenting every time we do that. Um, we can ask God to shield us. But he only can do so much, you know, because the devil will try to hurt us physically. So he can't stop that. Um, like, basically, once you hear the truth, you are accountable for your actions. So when you go to church and they tell you things and you hear the truth from them, you can, you're accountable for what you know. You know, you can't sit there and say, I don't know, I don't know. But now you know. Um, pay tithes, which is 10%. You know, your gross pay. You know, uh, everything good is not a God thing. You know, everything you do in life is good. But if it has nothing to do with God, it's not a God thing. So you have to realize everything you do on earth might be good, but it has nothing to do with God. So it's not a God thing. Um, what you identify yourself, I identify myself as a woman of God. Um, that's what we all should identify ourselves as, as woman in God or man of God or people of God who are not perfect, who, you know, we must identify ourselves as people, okay, I already said <laughs> I'm reading in my notes. Um, we are all followers of Christ, of course. Um, he died for our sin, so. A lot of us live in, <clears throat> a lot of Christians, we live in facade, you know, we fake it, you know, we, um, we don't be real and honest with the Lord. You have to learn how to be honest with him, come to him and pray, and just be honest. I feel like I've been doing that anyway. But just to, to tell people, you know, be honest when you talk to God. God, he is our purpose. You know, he is our purpose, so... That's just pretty much it with, in life, you know. When it comes down to anything in life, you should ask God, you know, because he is your purpose. You know, who wants to live a life where you wear the same clothes, has the same job, you know, watch the same TV shows, and not living life the way God wants you to live it? Like, nobody wants to live a life like that. Fulfilling your purpose in his, God's glory, you know, with anything, nothing is impossible, you know. You have to recognize also the three voices, which is your voice, the Holy Spirit, and God, of course. Um, I'm recognizing the Holy Spirit as we speak, um, which is good. And God, he's more of a straightforward type of person. Like, if you ask him something, I'm realizing also, you know, he'll say no or yeah, you know. But in our mind, we'd be like, oh, he didn't say no. He said yeah. Like, no, that's just you. You know, then you have the devil that be like, yeah, yeah, that's the devil, you know. But as, I don't know, that's something I'm just learning personally. You have to learn what voice you're hearing. If it's God's voice, um, the Holy Spirit, or your voice. I know when it's my voice because <laughs> I know when it's mine because I just be like, oh, I'm just being, I'm just being bad for no reason. And of course, everybody knows that scripture, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything can be added onto you. Um, that's pretty much, everybody should know. I mean, if you've been in church most of your life, like I've been or raised in it, you should know that scripture. If you don't, you know, you should look it up. The devil, he can disguise himself to make him seem like he's God when it comes down to the voices, the three voices. So you have to be very careful.
I'm trying to make myself short. If you aren't happy, you haven't discovered who you are in life. You haven't discovered your purpose. So if you're not happy, it's a reason why you're not happy. Um, don't determine your calling, you know. Follow God and God will determine your calling. So a lot of people just assume there's something they're not. Which is right, because I mean, as human beings, we don't know, we won't be knowing what we're doing. We think we do, but we don't. We assume we something that we're not. A lot of people assume they're pastors or prophets when they never were that. They just assume they were that. But you're not. It's not your calling. You know, a lot of people just assume things without even asking God. You know, you don't have a relationship with the Lord, you're not going to have that calling, you know, which makes sense, you know. Okay, you have to have both. And then when I went to church, um, it's called Lion of Judah. I had some notes for that, too. Like, what are your surroundings? How do you create a good atmosphere? You know, basically, we're talking about your mind, like, the way you think. Think more positive, because um, the devil likes to play with your mind. God, he can renew your mind, you know, make you a better person. I'm just moving this thing. <laughs> You know, like basically don't speak bad, you know, the flesh will suffer. When you're tired, don't walk around like as if you're tired. I don't know how to explain it, but just don't let that consume you. Don't be negative, you know. Be more positive. You know, don't conform to the world. It says in the Bible, when you speak and think, so shall it be, you know. So when you speak things in your life, it should be that. You know, don't speak those bad things. We have Galatians chapter 3, verse 11. And now it is evident no one is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. So live by faith, you know, not by your own doings. We have Galatians 5, 17. For the desires of the flesh are against the spirit. The desires of spirit are against the flesh. For those are opposed, which is right, because I feel like I'm going through that as we speak. Like, your flesh wants to give in to those desires you know the spirit wants to push you in a whole different direction of that which is the opposite of that that's how you know it's your flesh because you're selfish you're self-driven it's all about money and you complain a lot that's your flesh you know when it's all about you 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 know the holy spirit would teach you you know you know healthy mind you know it forces you to pray you know it helps with your prayer life also a renewed mind will receive from the Holy Spirit. So you will get that renewed mind through the Holy Spirit. A sound mind also. Faith without works is dead. So you have to put in work also to become this. And I wouldn't say become to learn how to hear those three voices and learn how to overcome that flesh by the Spirit. I feel like I'm going to be going through that myself. This is stuff I'm learning myself actually. You don't have to walk the walk and talk the talk. If you're going to talk about something, you need to also live that. You know, a lot of people talk but don't walk, you know? A lot of us, we operate with feelings. We do not operate by the Holy Spirit. We go by how we feel, you know? And like I said, just because you're doing something good on earth doesn't mean it's God good. It mean it's godly or it's God driven, you know? Because it might just be your feelings that's guiding you through all of this. You know? And then it comes down to the Bible. Joshua 1, verse 8, the book of the law. Shall meditate on it day and night so that it is written. For then you will make a prosperous. Then you will have good success. It's prosperous. Yeah. And that's all I have to say. That's pretty much what I've learned so far when we're coming down to my notes. Um, I just want to tell y'all a little bit of something, you know. Have a blessed day and God loves you.